Hey, Paul. Uh, you guys had seven players in double figures tonight. What is it like when everyone is getting their shots going um, and you guys are able to play in that manner where the ball is flowing? Uh, yeah, I mean, I thought we uh, we did a great job of sharing the ball. Um, passed up good shots for great shots. And I think just collectively, everybody was aggressive. Paul, right here. Crystal, nice to meet you. Um, off that point to the balance scoring, this is the sixth game that you have led your team in points. Um, how does that help and almost galvanize and lead the team so you have these efforts where everyone's getting involved offensively to see that balance scoring? Uh, well, I mean, it starts with me. i got to set the tone um, on a nightly basis of the, the level that we're going to play at. Um, and I try to do that. You know, that's why I'm coming out you know, um, with, a, with a focus to score and be aggressive um, in the first half for sure. Um, but then I think the team kind of settles in and, and, you know, they, uh, you know, I thought that third quarter, uh, early in the fourth quarter, they kind of, you know, got their game going. They found opportunities, um, you know, and, and I thought they were just great off the, off the bounce. Um, they attacked. Norm was great tonight. John was great tonight. Um, T-Man gave great effort. Reggie was, was awesome tonight. So, you know, everybody just contributed at a high level tonight. And what was the difference in the third quarter after the Lakers dwindled, dwindled the lead down to two? What was the difference for you guys to get that, that lead back and kind of stretch it out? Uh, just defense. You know, offensively, we played the same way. Um, I thought we allowed them to creep back in the game, playing a little slow. Um, but I thought we, we picked the tempo up as we did in the first quarter. Um, and we just kept attacking. I thought we, we got back to our style and um, we got stopped. Paul, you guys talked about setting the tone and being aggressive, but you guys were definitely aggressive getting to the glass and getting to the free throw line. How much did that help the rhythm as well, you guys being aggressive and getting to the line and then making those free throws as well? Yeah, I mean, it's always great to settle in at the free throw line, um, especially when they were making a run and, and we needed some baskets. It's always good to slow the game down and, and get some easy ones at the free throw line. I thought we did that. Um, but again, it was just more about the team's mentality. You know, we, uh, we attacked. Uh, the personnel that we, we wanted to attack, and um, I thought we just made the game easy for everybody. Um, Paul, how did you feel like the small group has been doing, especially in the smaller, small schools? <coughs> you find finding a lot of guys in the short row, you know, Luke, Reggie, you know, John Wall's playing really well in the small group too as well. How do you feel about that? Yeah, I mean, I think it's coming together. Um, we're starting to trust that small, the small pick and roll. Um, and I think we're starting to understand one another. We're starting to get the spacing. Um, we're starting to read the defenders, and um, yeah, I mean, we've, we've been having success with it now. Uh, we just got to keep it going. You know, every night's going to be different. Um, I think we just got to play how the game is going, and uh, <laughs> of late, we've been doing that. PJ, there was that play where, where Pat was buying you up, forced you to pass the ball, was, was drawing back and forth with you. I, mean, I think after that, you really got your one dribble pull-up shot over him a few times, uh, so the tone for you a bit more offensively. I guess... How did that kind of change, I guess, the, the offensive game for you after that? I think Ty said he, he mentioned you just shoot over Pat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I just, uh, at that point, it was just get to a spot, raise up. Um, we always have, has, have this saying of, you know, he's not going to grow. Um, and uh, that's the case, you know. Um, just get to a spot, you know, with Pat. He's really good if you dance and, you know, you give him a chance to creep up and crowd you. Um, but, you know, you be explosive one direction. Um, you know, have success there. So that's that's all I did. You know, I didn't get into the battle and you know, fighting. And, you know, um, you know, playing his game. Um, I thought I just kept it simple and uh, kept it efficient. And then in general, for you, uh, you obviously been in, in an offensive group the last couple of games. Um, not to blow it up to this proportion, but like, it, was there like an understanding that with Kawhi missing these games, you need to do more offensively? Because I think obviously this team plays performs better when you shoot more. I think. Yeah, I mean, you know, coming into a season, you don't know what to expect. Um, you know, uh, I think, uh, you know, we all wish two could be out there with us. Um, I know he wishes he could be there with us. Um, but you never know how the season's going to go about. Um, my job is just pick up the pieces, keep us going until he's, he's coming back and he returns. Um, so, you know, with that, it's just reading how the season's going. I know i got to be more aggressive. i got to take the load. Um, 
and uh, be the leader as, as, as for this team. So um, that's just been my approach: come out, be the lead, be the leader, lead this group. Um, <clears throat> and uh, you know, good thing about it, I got a heck of a support cast. I mean, I'm talking about how good Mook's been, uh, Marcus. If you don't know who Mook is, uh, Reggie's coming in, coming coming back to self. Terrence is, is playing awesome. Um, Lou been shooting the heck out of it. I mean, you know, I got I got support around me, um, and we're all gonna hold it down until Kawhi returns. PG, uh, how are you feeling physically? I know you said that was uh, kind of the main thing for you, uh, just getting your win back and things like that. But uh, you've been playing heavy minutes lately. You feel uh, all right with you know going through the stretch? Yeah, I mean, I, honestly, I, I feel like you know it's wear and tear, as, as you know, every player probably has something, you know. But um, overall, I think I'm just getting stronger and stronger. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not even allowing the 40 minutes, the the low to creep into my head. Um, I'm playing at a high level. Um, I'm, I'm enjoying the game. I'm enjoying this process with the guys. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm ready to go through it too. What's the key? What's the key to your mid range game right now? Is it, is it just what you're doing to get ready for these games? Or, like, when do you know you're in a zone with how efficient you are inside the hard shooting of basketball? Um, I think it's honestly taking what the defense is giving me. Um, <coughs> You know, that's just reading, reading the defense, um, honestly. Um, you know, so you know, if I have opportunities to raise up, um, B. Shaw is constantly in my ear about picking a spot and get to it, um, and he's helped me a ton of just being efficient with my dribbles. Um, and so that's really just what it comes down to, um, is, is, is you know just being efficient off the dribble. All right, last question. Hey Paul, uh, Luke got to start start tonight. Um, can you talk about how how it is having him on the floor, somebody that can space the floor from anywhere and give opportunities for yourself and everyone else? Yeah, you know they they you know Luke is a guy that you have to find in transition in half court. Um, you you gotta know where he's at at all times. So that alone creates you know opportunities for everybody. Um, and you know our job is to find him, and, and if he's on the floor, we we you know we gotta get him looks. So um, you know. I think you know him shooting six threes isn't enough. You know we got to get him, uh, find him, and, and get him more opportunities with how well he shoots it. Uh, but it's great. It's great to have him on the floor, especially with that lineup: myself, John, uh, Luke, uh, Marcus. Um, whether it's Nico, T-Man, like guys that can space around John, um, and and you know just be elite shooters for him. So um, I think we're starting to figure out we're coming to our own. And uh, basketball looks good for Clippers right now.